Final thing the Niners have gotten worse at. Pass protection. Not at right tackle. I, I mean, I don't think they have a good pass protecting right tackle on the team. I don't think McGlinchey's good. I don't think Justin School's good. I don't think Colton McKivitz is particularly good. But they won a lot of games with Tom Compton. They've never had a good uh, pass protector in right tackle. Since they got rid of Trent Brown, they've had run blocking specialists at right tackle, and they've schemed around it. They've made it work. So I, I don't question that. Fine. But again, left guard. They, it's a huge downgrade from Lake and Tomlinson to whoever it is. Not just as a run in run blocking, but in pass protection too. Lake and Tomlinson isn't the best guard in the league, but he gave up only two sacks last year. And now you're going to go to I, I. First of all, it's either going to be Aaron Banks or Jalen Moore at left guard, or someone that they draft this year who doesn't know the system. That's a huge downgrade unless some one of those guys just makes huge improvement. And shocks everyone. And I know you think, like, if you got to be weak somewhere, it better be weak than guard or at guard than center or tackle. Well, Aaron Donald's in your division. For whatever reason, you've had two guards who've matched up well with him the last few years in Daniel Brunskill and Lake and Tomlinson. They have. Brunskill holds his own every single time with Aaron Donald, and so did Lake and Tomlinson. Now one's gone, and you're going to have to see if Jalen Moore can hold his own with Aaron Donald twice a year. I mean, frankly, a big reason the the Niners didn't make it to the Super Bowl this year is their offensive line got overwhelmed in pass protection at the end of the NFC Championship game. And that was with Tom Compton and Lakin Tomlinson. Overwhelmed. Straight up overwhelmed. Now you got Jalen Moore in there? Aaron Banks? Ah, scary. And... What's really scary about weakening yourself in pass protection? One injury to the quarterback ends your season. So if you're thinking, are the Niners going to make the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, they have a bunch of teams. They have like six or seven all-pro talents on their team. But if Trey Lance gets hurt because Aaron Aaron Banks is a stiff or Jalen Moore is a stiff, Justin Schools is a stiff, well, now you're back to Garoppolo. And if Trey Lance gets hurt, who's to say Jimmy Roppolo won't get hurt? I mean, this could be like 2020 where the Niners just go through quarterbacks. And frankly, the Niners have got had injuries at that position every single year except for 2019. So, I don't know. I think the pass protection thing is scary. And I don't know if there's anything the Niners can really do about it. Is bringing in a rookie going to help? Have, how are the Niners done with rookie offense alignment? Especially in pass protection. This is something you address in free agency. And they didn't do it. So it's like, hey, Trey, go protect yourself. Go use your feet. He may. I already said I think they're going to have fewer sacks this year than last year, but all it takes is one hit for the injury to happen. 